What's well, going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing? Come back and we'll talk about this thing on my head. into this video don't forget i've got a leatherman giveaway going on at the end of the video there will be the little video that you can click on and go watch that and get entered but let's get on with this video what's going on everybody it's patrick minton outdoors how's my outdoor crew doing hope this video finds you well so i had a company reach out to me and ask me if i would like to review their product i said i sure would so they were gracious enough to send me two of them not just one but two of them to take a look at so what I want to do with this video right now is this is going to be an introduction the review of this product will come out later down the road and I explained that to them that that's the way I'm going to start doing all of my reviews of product is that once I get in I'll do an introduction video and then down the road will come the actual review so night buddy and I'll show you their boxes. Reached out to me and asked me if I would be glad to review their 230 degree headlamp. Now, when I first saw this thing, I thought, man, that's pretty cool. I like my headlamps. Yeah, I've got one I like a lot. But I'll give it a try. So let me go over the specifics of this thing. Then we'll put you on the workbench over here and we'll show you how it all works. While I'm talking to you, you will be seeing scenes of me using this thing in my tr at my truck at night. Um, so, Night Buddy costs $34.95. I will leave affiliate link down below to Amazon where you can pick one up if you want one. I appreciate if you do use that affiliate link. It will help me out. Buy some more cool stuff to use on the trails and camping here pretty soon. So, the big claim to fame for these guys is 230 degrees of headlamp. So it's got 230 degree light strip on the headlamp itself. It has five light modes, which we'll demonstrate on the bench. One of the things I really like is it using USB-C charging capabilities. It does come with a cord, but there's the plug-in for it right there uses a USB-C. Now, they claim this is 100% waterproof. This little flap on this door, I hope the USB-C part of it is waterproof. So, we'll, we'll see down the road. Um, three hours on the brightest setting, which the brightest setting they say is 350 lumens, and eight hours on the lowest setting. Now, like I said, this thing has five settings. So, you have a high, a low, a strobe, a red strip. So, there's also red light all the way across this. And then you have a spot beam. So, I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to put you over here on the uh, workbench. We're going to take a look at the different modes because it just be a little bit easier for me. Even though I have learned how to use this thing with my hand, I mean, I've learned where the buttons are on the, on the unit. There are only two buttons on it. And we'll show you a little bit more over here on the workbench. All right, let's take a look at the different modes and how this works. Now, your first button is the power button. It also is your mode button. So when you turn it on, you're going to get your brightest setting right off the rip. So remember, this, this setting right here will only last for three hours on one charge. Go to the next, whoop, go to the next setting. That's your media or your low setting on this thing. This will last eight hours. There is your red light. I know it's probably not coming through very well on the camera, but that's a whole strip of red lights. I like that. I, you know, I'm a big fan of red light at night. Uh, it just helps preserve your vision at night and doesn't um, no it just it helps at night if you've never used red light at night try it you will understand what I'm talking about so let's get back into the okay and there is your 
spot. Okay, so let me show you how to get it into the wave motion. So you hit this button here. That turns on the sensor. So now when you wave your hand over that sensor, it turns that light on and off. Which I kind of like that. Especially if you're hanging out around a campfire, you can have the motion sensor on. And if you decide you need to get up and go to the bathroom, you stand up, you turn away, and you can turn on your light and head to the bathroom. I like that idea. It's hands-free. If you're working on something under a car even, or setting up camp at night, you know, you can turn that off and keep from blinding somebody. Now, one of their big things, too, is, is they talk about how this light spreads evenly and that it actually is not as blinding to a person at night, which I kind of like that. So, from what I can tell, I mean, it's, it's built well. It's adjustable headband. Uh, it's a rubbery headband here and elastic style headband here it does have a, like a grip built texture built into it so it doesn't slide much on your head i have had it on with a cap on it works just fine um probably worked great with a beanie on so we'll see we're gonna see how well it'll work through the different times of the year this coming summer or this coming fall because that's when i'll be using this thing um so, you know, stay tuned. We'll see how this thing comes out. $34.95 right now on Amazon. Like I said, the affiliate link will be down below if you want to pick one up and try it out for yourself. It's not a bad deal. They first came out, they wanted $49, so they've dropped it down to $34.95. You will find a bunch of different brands on there. This is from Night Buddy themselves. You'll look on the box. Even their website, nightbuddy.co. So the link I will be sharing will be for this particular light. Watch out for the fakes because there are a lot less, and that ought to tell you something. There, be, there may be something wrong with those less ones. So that's it for this one. Like I said, we'll be back in about three to six months, and we'll see how this thing's held up. We'll go from there. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I appreciate you watching. Be prepared. See you on the next one.